Welcome to tonight's homework help for Wednesday night, September 12th, 2012. Tonight we're subtracting integers using keep, change, opposite, or KCO. So we're going to find the difference. We're going to use the keep, change, opposite method for each problem. So I want you to use that method. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this problem down here as an example. Uh, so uh, according to the instructions, we're going to keep the first number the same. So that'll stay in negative 4. We're going to change uh, this subtraction to addition of the opposite of the number that follows. So this always must stay the same. This is keeps. This changes to addition of the opposite of negative 7. Well, we went over opposites a few weeks ago. So if I do this, I'm going to keep negative 4 the same. I'm going to change that negative to a positive to addition of the opposite of negative 7. So I like to put a line through it telling me that it's a positive 7. So it's like 4 plus a positive 7, negative 4 plus a positive 7. Uh, so if I calculate that out, um, I know that adding 7 will take me up above the num uh, above negative 4 or to the right of negative 4, and it'll bring me back into the positive. So I'll end up at positive 3. Okay. Um, that should help you out with all of these problems. Uh, on this bottom one, just be sure and do the, fir the first two numbers first, and then once you've gotten an answer and you have one answer here, then you'll just have two more numbers because you'll have the answer to these two minus this one, and you can use KCO there as well. Okay, moving on to the back side. Okay, here we are on the back side. Uh, this is agree or disagree. So number one, we're going to look at this number sentence, 8 plus 5 equals 5 plus 8. Do you agree or disagree? So they want you to write down if you agree or disagree if this is a true statement or not. Okay, is this always true or is this only sometimes true? If it's if it's not always true, then you should write disagree. If it you believe it's always true, then you should write agree. And then you want to use words, numbers, or pictures to explain why you believe that's true. Okay, uh, it may help. Like you know, you could use sheep's and ducks from the other night. You have eight sheep and five ducks. Does that equal five sheep and eight ducks? Or you know, something like that. I mean, it should, probably shouldn't be sheep and ducks. They should all be the same. If you have eight sheep and then you add five more sheep, is that equal to five sheep plus eight sheep? So uh, show an example here, okay? Or uh, you can either draw it, like it said, use words, numbers, or pictures to explain your answer. So fill this area in with a good explanation. Uh, number two, it says, look at this number sentence. Six minus four equals four minus six. Do you agree or disagree? So um, again, you either have to write the word agree or disagree, and it has to be whether you think the statement is true or not. Is six, six minus four equal to four minus six? And again, you're gonna use words, numbers, or pictures to explain your answer in this area down here below, um, right over here. So there should be plenty of space to do that. Again, words, numbers, or pictures to explain your answer down here. Okay, well, good night, and I hope this helps, and go Bears! Rawr!